there are a number of different types of qualitative studies that people can do. Two of them, which are fairly similar, are narrative studies and case studies. Narrative studies are where you study the life of an individual, like the founder of an organization in depth, and a case study is where you take an event and look at that more in uh, depth. For example, if there had been a fire and people had gotten injured and not, the, not all the procedures had been followed, you could do a case study to find out what exactly went wrong. Now, in organizational context, case studies are, are not common, but they're far more common than narrative studies. So we'll focus a little bit on, on case studies. Now, what are the advantages to doing a case study? Um, why would somebody do a, a case study in an organization? Well, it allows us to focus on one person or one organization or one event that happened within the organization for a more in-depth study. When something really critical happens, and we want to understand what happened, like if the entire computer system went down for a, a day and it caused the loss of thousands or millions of dollars worth of time, um, it might be good to do a case study to find out what happened and why the uh, safety protocols didn't uh, 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 work to prevent the system from going down. Um, another advantage with a case study is that you can use all kinds of methods to get the information that you need, and it can take into consideration everything. Um, uh, a good case study would include a, a, a literature review. What has been written about this subject? What do we know about this subject? And chances are we know an awful lot about it, so the literature review is going to be really useful. Personal observation as you observe what happened. Interviews, talking about other people what to other people about what they observed. Um, archival research, what happened in previous uh, um, uh, computer breakdowns. Were there procedures developed then? Why didn't the procedures work now? Anything else that the researcher can think of to get information. Another advantage of narrative studies and case studies is that it, it's innately interesting. It's not like a bunch of statistics. It's, it, it's usually presented more as a stories or how an event unfolded. Um, a lot of times if there's like a, a shooting or a major crime in some organizational context, they will do an, uh, a case study to find out what happened, um, what safety protocols worked, what different, what role did security play, what, um, what, what, what could be, what was done wrong and what can be improved upon. And those things are, are like really interesting. That's a lot more interesting than looking at some uh, t-tests or correlations. Um, and it identifies further problems that need to be studied, further things that need to be addressed. Um, so there's a, a, a lot of reasons for doing uh, case studies in organizations. Now there's also some disadvantages, which also would make us want to call into question, should we do them? First of all, it's difficult to do well, and it's easy to do poorly. Um, getting all the data, studying the topic, and the literature review is really time consuming. If you don't have the resources to consecrate to it, you're not going to be able to do it very well. It also requires a lot of insight and excellent writing skills so that you really capture the audience and bring them into the situation, and that people would think, aha, this person's got insight, they understand, and they can foresee how other things could have happened. Um, the, in, uh, um, the, the technical word for this type of writing is called rich descriptions. You have to go really deeply in describing what happened in a coherent and meaningful way. You can't just describe surface level uh, events, and, it, and it's difficult to write rich descriptions. Another disadvantage is that it's very subjective. Um, the observations are biased by the observer's uh, biases. So whatever biases you bring into it, uh, into the study, you're, that's going to reflect in your, your conclusions. Um, and this means that there's little reliability. If you do a case study, you might come to very different conclusions than somebody else doing a case study on the exact same uh, case. 
Another limitation of case studies is that there's no way to detect causation. There's, you can't do an experiment. You can't rerun a, uh, uh, a workplace fire to see if under these conditions things would go differently. Um, no, you can't, you can't do that. Um, so there's no experimental control possible. So any causation has to be, is, 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 is quite tentative. And then there's little external validity. We're dealing with a sample of one. Um, we're going to look at that one person in a narrative study or one uh, uh, event in an organization. And there's so many unique aspects of the situation that it's hard to generalize outside of the uh, uh, organization or outside of that case. Now, and sometimes you might say, oh, yeah, this is a, an important idea. I wonder if that's always true. And that could lead to some hypotheses that would be tested quantitative, quantitative, quantitatively. So in, in many situations, case studies can lead to further research, often in a more quantitative and objective way.